This is what I'm doing now. Constance Kermeyer has no plans to stop making art. These are not finished, but this one is. She's currently preparing for an upcoming show at her gallery in Connecticut. And you know what that was? It was a tray for hors d'oeuvres. It was a trowel, a tool for uh, yeah. a mason. Finding beauty in simple things <laughs> is a specialty of hers. We found that piece in the river. As is constantly looking to improve. And I'm either going to add sort of this color to down here or to up there. And I think it'll be better. It's a little depressing. Her art might be described as abstract. She considers herself a collagist, a printmaker, a painter, and... I do a lot of very delicate, real things. It's the story of my life. That's myself as my brother living on a farm in Virginia. And I have rose-colored glasses on, and I'm looking both ways. And that's my life as an artist. Constance, who has won several awards for her art, remembers when her life changed. I was six years old. I was in the first grade. Her teacher gave each child a black and white piece of paper and a stencil. Constance's stencil was of a pig. And as I was drawing the stencil, it came to me. I thought, I'm going to cut spots in it, and it's going to be a black pig with white spots. The teacher came around, and she said to me, that is wonderful. You're going to be an artist. And I've never forgotten it, and I've never been anything but an artist ever since. She went to art school as a child, then on to private school and later college, where she met her husband, Jack. I met him at Yale. He was in the law school, and I was in the art school. The couple went on to have four children. They're my four children. Like so many young mothers, Constance got creative in trying to juggle work and family. I would go out the front door and say goodbye to the children, and then I'd walk back and go in the kitchen door and upstairs to my studio without them knowing that I was there because if they knew I was there, I couldn't get anything done. As the children got older, Constance opened a studio outside her home. I loved having children. I thought it was really important for me. It made my life, but art enriched my life. And I, I can't imagine not doing both. Over the years, her work has been shown throughout the East Coast and in New York City. Motherhood prepared me for art in a funny way. Her husband, Jack, died more than 10 years ago. Oh, he was very supportive. My lovely Jack. She's turned his old ties into art that now adorns her apartment. Well, this one is just an oh, ironing board and ironing a tie. Uh, domestic, but I, I like the way it looks. And this one is called The Life Well Lived. Terry Wiley has been helping Constance once a week for several years. We never lack for something to talk about. No. And we, don't. we both have a lot in common, even though yeah, we do. I don't see things it's like she does. It's just wonderful. What started as a helping hand has turned into a very real friendship. I never saw things like she does. She sees things, she sees life in things that I don't, I don't see. Terry starts to get emotional when she talks about how much she cares for Constance. It's my favorite day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Terry helps Constance in her two art classes a week. Working is the big thing that keeps me young, I think. Constance teaches one class to paying students and another well, just for residents some... at Bartlett Woods. What a wonderful thing to happen to you when you're 90. A new thing that you can do. For more than 90 years, art and people have been inspiring her. I love art. I love it. I love people. They've been a well of inspiration that doesn't run dry for Constance Kermeyer. It's wonderful. <laughs> and Constance has no plans of stopping, like I mentioned. She's working right now on getting ready for her upcoming exhibit in May at her gallery in Connecticut. Wow. <laughs> She is one amazing lady. I love that the teacher said to her, at six years old, you're gonna be an artist, and that really, that really implanted on her. It's like that chicken and egg thing. We don't know whether she would have been without that or not, but those words certainly stuck with her. Absolutely. Thank you, Beth. Oh.